Last week we talked about this Smilodon, who was the king of all cats. But there was a bigger and more powerful dawn in town. I'm talking about the Megalodon. This ancient shark lived 23 to 3.6 million years ago. Its name is derived from the ancient Greek and is a combination of the words Megas and Odus, which can be translated into Big Tooth. This beast lived across the entire world and it had the status of an apex predator. There are not many remains, apart from teeth, corpolites, which are basically fossilized excrements, and backbones. This makes it extremely hard to reconstruct the gigantic shark. But looking at modern sharks like the great white shark and putting the findings into relation allow to get some estimations about the creature's appearance. The megalodon was absolutely gigantic and it reached a length up to 20.3 meters or 67 feet and the weight for a 67 feet long megalodon is believed to be somewhere around 103 metric tons. Just to put it into perspective, great white sharks are about 4.5 to 6.4 meters long, which is the equivalent of 14.7 to 21 feet, and it weighs up to 1100 kg, which is about 2425 pounds. The funny thing is that female mechs were significantly larger than males while males reach a size up to 14.3 meters in length and 33.9 metric tons, large females were about 70 meters long and weighed up to 59.4 metric tons. Just imagine being a male megalodon using Tinder. You would see all those females saying, sorry, I don't date guys under 56 feet or if you weigh less than me, then swipe left. That must have totally crush their self-confidence. No wonder why they're not around anymore. Or are they? Well, no. Only if you wear tinfoil hats, of course. The shark itself was extremely robustly built. And it is believed that it had a similar structure to modern day great white sharks. Its teeth were absolutely gigantic and measured over 180 millimeters or 7.1 inches. The teeth were triangular shaped and had fine serrations that helped to inflict more damage to its prey. The megalodon had over 250 of those in its jaws and the teeth were spread around 5 rows. The jaw was also huge, which was necessary to hunt large prey. It had a jaw spanning of 2 meters or 6.6 .6 feet across and the mech was able to open its mouth up to a 75 degree angle. I have no doubt in my mind that the prey thought at times, shut up Mac. Equipped with this extremely powerful weapon, the Megalodon had a bite force up to 182,200 newtons, while the great white shark has only laughable 18,260 newtons. Furthermore, the Megalodon was fairly fast for its size and swam comfortably around 18 km per hour, which is the equivalent of 11 miles per hour. Being a prey animal in those days must have been truly horrific. Megalodons lived to the age of 100 years, so when they approached a prey animal they were like, hey, are you Jimmy's son? No, <clears throat> grandson actually, sir. Oh, of course. He look a lot like old Jimbo. He even got his pretty eyes. Too bad he's not around anymore. Yeah, um, he he was eaten by a um megalodon. I know. You 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 do? Of course. You know, I was that megalodon, and one look into your scared eyes made me feel kind of nostalgic. You know what's coming. Uh oh. Say hi to Jimbo from me. Anyways, I mentioned earlier that females were actually larger than males. And there's actually a reason for it. It all begins with a fetus megalodon. While the mother is carrying it, the fetus has also other siblings. 
How cute. Not exactly. It's entirely possible that megalodon fetuses did something which is called intrauterine cannibalism, which basically means that the larger fetus eats the smaller fetus. This caused the development of larger individuals, therefore the mother needed more calories to sustain it, which resulted in larger females as well. And fun fact, infant megalodons were already 3.5 or 11 feet long. But let's take a look at the menu of those beasts. And surprise surprise, they devoured almost everything. While mature mags prefer dolphins, small whales, seals, sea turtles, sirenians and even other sharks, the younger animals went more after smaller fish. The mag was so dominant that it had an impact on the development of marine life and the beast managed to cause competitive exclusion to other sharks. While hunting, the megalodon swam underneath its prey and attacked the chest area in order to injure both heart and lungs. And once the predator got hold of the prey, they shook sideways in order to maximize the damage. But the megalodon also adapted its strategy based on the size of the prey animals. Wounds of contemporary whales indicate that the shark tried to immobilize them before going in for the kill. What a smart cookie. Oh my gosh. But why aren't they around anymore? Well, there are different reasons for it. One of those reasons is climate change. Megalodons gave birth in warmer and shallow waters in order to protect their young from predators. But due to a drop of sea levels and the onset of the ice age, it was harder to reproduce. Furthermore, many prey animals went extinct, which resulted in less food. So the competition with other predators was way harder. And eventually, the megalodon disappeared from the face of the earth. But his extinction opened the door for other predators, and so, I guess that's nature. Thanks for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any wishes for the next videos, just let me know in the comment section below. Adios amigos.